It's only 29 days into the new year and things are more exciting than ever. MGM City Center dropped its high-rise condo prices by 30% last year and also secured financing for its condo purchasers through Penny Mac, who agreed to finance qualified buyers planning to purchase Vidara condo hotel units, Mandarin Oriental, and Veer Towers condos. This was an amazing piece of news for contract holders and potential buyers at City Center simply because we have seen over the last two years just about all luxury high-rise condo and condo hotel financing disappear. Moving down the strip to the intersection of Fashion Show Drive and Las Vegas Boulevard, Donald Trump has dramatically decreased the pricing on his remaining developer units. Studios that were once selling for a half a million dollars are now being offered at a neck-breaking $170,000. Toward the end of last year, we started to see Trump International Las Vegas resale units coming on the market that were short sales. As time went on, some short sale Trump condos closed escrow, and actually they closed escrow in a relatively quick time frame compared to single family homes and other properties. My personal belief is Mr. Donald Trump and team were watching the resale market very closely once they seen short sales being listed in their building and waited until some closed in order to gauge what buyers in this market are willing to pay for their properties. Since Trump has not secured any special financing deals for his buyers like MGM City Center, I believe he is targeting the cash flush investor or second home vacation buyer with the new dramatically lower pricing that was implemented earlier this month. This is another positive sign for potential high-rise condo and condo hotel buyers entering the Las Vegas high-rise market. Finally, as we make our way even further down Las Vegas Boulevard, we come to the Halted Fountain Blue project. For those of you who are not familiar with Fountain Blue, it sits directly across the street from currently the only occupied Las Vegas Strip high-rise condo development, Sky Las Vegas. Last year I reported on Penn National's interest in this property and also Carl Icahn's interest in it as well. It turns out that Carl Icahn's interest in the failed Fountain Blue project proved to be stronger than Penn National's. And on the 27th of this month, a bankruptcy court in Miami approved the sale of Fountain Blue to Carl Icahn for $156 million in cash and financing. As of this moment, no one really knows what Carl Icahn's plans for this project are, but Icahn is known for purchasing troubled assets and flipping them for a profit. It will be interesting to see what comes out of this deal and the future plans for the Fountain Blue site. This is going to conclude my video report for today. If you would like to stay up to date with all the latest Las Vegas high-rise condo news and information, subscribe to my blog or YouTube channel today. You can also connect with me on Facebook and Twitter, or if you're more of a phone person, just give me a call at 702-542-1883. One eight eight three. Thanks for watching and I look forward to bringing you more interesting stories and developments about the Las Vegas high-rise condo market.